Hello and welcome to Trading the Trend on Wednesday, the 12th of April, 2023. At the beginning of March, we went short the Australian dollar versus the New Zealand dollar, as you can see here on the daily financial bet. And uh, we basically nearly hit our downside target at 105.50 before the currency pair reversed to the upside. So if you haven't already gotten out of that trade with a profit, I would urge you to do so now, for example, at 107.65, still making you a small profit. Now, we also had a, sh a long trade on uh, with regards to the British pound versus the Japanese yen. And that was long from 162.50 and is still a profitable trade. Uh, because we're currently retesting previous resistance and because of the uh, US uh, inflation data out later today, Perhaps um, it might make sense to take some money off the table on this trade. So I would get out at 166.06 uh, on this trade now. But if you want to let it run, you can still let it run because our stop loss is at break even. It's up to you, really. And we also had another trade, which was to go short the Australian dollar versus the um, US dollar uh, that we did at the beginning of uh, April here. We went short at 66.90. That trade is still very much intact, and we still keep our stop loss level at 67.95. And then for day, today's trading the trend, what I would like to do is uh, buy into the short term weakness with regards to the NASDAQ 100, which has already given us nice, nice profits of around 960 uh, points so far since March. So here I would like to go long at 12,983, the current level, uh, with a stop loss, but on a daily chart closing basis, not intraday, on a daily chart closing basis below 12,857 and an upside target of 13,375. So today's trading the trend is to go long the NASDAQ 100 at um, 12,983 with a daily stop loss on a daily stop loss closing basis at 12,857, not on an intraday basis, but a daily chart closing basis and an upside target at 13,375.